There is little here in West Wales that tells you of a once great stone circle that stood here. Even outside of lockdown, Wine Mound is hardly a tourist attraction, a circle missing most of its stones. But the four remaining blue stones that are here are ancient keys that unlock a mystery, linking this site with that Neolithic marvel Stonehenge. The smaller blue stones inside this monument arrived here 5,000 years ago. But they'd stood at Wine Mound for 400 years before that, proving the connection has been a decade-long project. Yeah, it was uh, it was great excitement, but I think also blessed relief, because this had been a real labour of love, trying to uh, untangle this this extraordinary mystery. They had actually, fortunately, left four stones there. If they hadn't, we would never have found it, and I'd still be looking now. Although just four stones still stand here, this was once the third largest stone circle in Britain. Just like Stonehenge, Wine Mound aligned perfectly with the midsummer solstice sunrise, and its diameter 110 metres is the exact same as the ditch which surrounds Stonehenge. And the similarities don't stop there. Archaeologists also found that one of the standing bluestone pillars at Stonehenge would have fitted neatly into a stone hole left at Wine Mound. It all suggests that much of this earlier site was dismantled and moved the 150 miles to Salisbury. As is always the case with archaeology, there are still big questions to be answered. Such as why, hundreds of years after stones were first put in place here, did someone decide to move them to Wiltshire? Questions perhaps for another day. After all, in archaeology, solving one ancient puzzle is enough for any day. Rupert Evelyn News at 10, Pembrokeshire.